over the past 60 years, Oscar winner Jeff Bridges has gone from child actor to leading heartthrob to laid-back counterculture icon. But he's also a bit of a renaissance man, adding painting, music, and photography to his artistic repertoire. His photography is the subject of a new book. It features behind-the-scene images from some of his most memorable films. Anthony Mason recently spent some time with Bridges in Los Angeles, both in front of the lens and behind it. So it's a 28 millimeter panning lens. Jeff Bridges has always been passionate about taking pictures. Where did your love of photography come from? I guess borrowing would be the kinder word rather than stealing my father's Nikon, setting up a little dark room in my bathroom, you know, putting the tin foil on the windows and being in there with that red light with my tunes going on. The whole concept of time goes out the window. Just the idea of capturing time like that. You know, but when he started acting, he left the dark room behind until 1976 when he starred in King Kong. My character, Jack Prescott, um, had a camera. I said, well, I'm going to load that thing and take pictures, you know. That started a tradition of taking pictures on his film sets. Photographs from King Kong, the fabulous Baker Boys, and the Big Lebowski were included in a first volume of his pictures. Now Bridges has released Pictures Volume 2, including photos from the sets of True Grit, Crazy Heart, and Sea Biscuit, in which he starred with Tobey Maguire and Elizabeth Banks. What happened here? I gave her a bloody nose. You did? This, yeah, I was saying, yo, you see this kid, he's winning! Bam! And I just cracked her in the right nose. Across the like, face. Oh, God. <laughs> and I said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can I take your picture? <laughs> you know. He also turned his camera on the inflatable crowd in the racing scene. Gosh, you got all those extras up there, and you're all dressed in some... Amazing. Then I got closer and I saw it was these guys. <laughs> See, here it is. There's the baby right there. Bridges, who we met at the Annenberg Space for Photography in Los Angeles, says the tool of his trade now is a 35 millimeter wide lux panning camera, which allows him to shoot the dual image comedy tragedy shots of his acting friends. Not mean, you're sad. He gave me a demonstration. Yeah, sad. Look right over here. Yeah, there you go. Do some sad. Shit. Nice. Good. Bridges was encouraged to go into acting by his father, Lloyd Bridges, who starred in the 50s and 60s TV show Sea Hunt, in which in young We've Jeff made several appearances. Yeah, but I've never been here before, and it all looks the same. You were on the fence at one point, though. About oh, yeah. I sure was. For quite a while, I had maybe 10 movies under my belt yeah. uh, before I said, you know what, this is for me. I mean, I'm a product of nepotism. I don't think I would have gotten into the movies without my dad saying, come on, come on. You yeah, know. but you have to be good to stay in the movie. Well, that's also true. But in the beginning, I said, I don't want to get, uh, get the part just because who my dad is. That changed, Bridges says, after he initially passed on a part in the 1973 film, The Iceman Cometh, and a director he just worked with called him. Hello, Larry. I'm in a very low voice. He says, you've turned down John Frankenheimer. Iceman Cometh? I said, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm bushed, Marty. You know, I just... He, bushed? <laughs> You're an ass. And he <laughs> hung up on me. Oh, you think I made up a phony, don't you? Well, why do Bridges you took that? the part and eventually found ways to include his love of music and photography in his acting career. But his favorite photograph is not his own. Oh, yeah, my prized possession you're talking about. Yeah. In his wallet, he keeps a snapshot of the moment he and his wife Susan met in 1975. And so I have a photograph of the first words that my wife and I shared, me asking her out and her saying no. And here's that moment. The, you know, look at that. Isn't that wild? He was smitten, he says, by her beauty and her pair of black eyes from a recent car accident. Here's a close-up of her, you know, her black eyes. <laughs> With the black eyes. And isn't she something? Susan appears in the book, visiting the set of True Grit. 
So does Bridges' stand-in, who he's been working with even longer. There's my old buddy, Lloyd Catlett. You know, we've done nearly 70 films together. Yeah. We met on the last picture show. <laughs> How unusual is it to have a stand-in through your whole career? Completely unusual. I think we've got to hold the record, I would, I would think. What satisfaction do you get out of taking pictures? Opening that that proof sheet and seeing what you took, you know, I, I just love that surprise. You always have high expectations when you're making a movie, yeah. you know, and every once in a while, it exceeds those expectations and you go, oh yeah, man. And that happens in the photographs too, every once in a while. <laughs> You've gotten out of the way appropriately and the thing is just captured, you know, and it feels great. Bridges did not even know that the photo of him meeting his future wife, Susan, existed until about a decade after he married her in 1977. The makeup artist who took the picture on a film set in Montana found it in some old files and mailed it to Bridges out of the blue. The actor says he keeps it with him everywhere he goes. Love that. Wow, it's like the laws of attraction. He loves <laughs> photography, and then he gets the picture, and he kept on, it's you such know, a beautiful held on But guys, is there any film that Jeff Bridges is in that you haven't just, like, loved absolutely? Or at least loved Well, there him. was that yeah, one so that, great. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you going to talk about? I didn't even know about that first yeah. book. Yeah. So I love yeah. seeing this now as photography, and, like, he is just so beautifully expressive in mm -hmm. those pictures. I love when Anthony can do stories like this where he actually takes us into the life of somebody who you think you know because you've seen them on right, the screen right. for so many you years, but you discover different. something completely different about them. Did you notice that little bit of a the dude came out? Of yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. All right, man, yeah. Yeah. He does abide. The dude abides. The dude abides. <laughs>